I'd like a little bit of mystery, a little bit of intrigue. Okay, this is the moment. No. He's hovering it. He's not going to do it. You got my hopes up so high. They're like, uh, they're, he's, look at his face. He's trolling us as hard as he can right now. Oh, come on. He did it! <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. And this is good because I've done my Soraka top research. So we are going to really dive into the nitty gritty of this. I'm so happy for us. We build up a slow push here and have a big crash onto Cabo Shard's uh, tower. And you can see that he's already really starting to chunk him out. Now, reminder that the Star Call will crash down faster the closer that Soraka is. So. Uh, Wonder's doing a good job kind of like sniping out Cabo Shard with a lot of these cues, but if someone does manage to rush forward, get on top of Soraka, she actually uh, pushing or priority and kind of why you would do that. So this is a slow push into a crash. So he is crashing uh, two waves that have been stacked together. And this can uh, be useful because you can either get a cheater recall, like if Wonder wanted to, he could back and then walk back into lane, not expend a teleport, or you can really hard punish either through a dive or continuous poke. And is able because to walk to safety, but it's just constant harass, constant poke from perks. The Cullen coming out even, Saken ignited, has to flash away. And he's doing maneuvers like that, getting the wave frozen in front of his tower, Saken has to walk up, overextend, oh, and get smashed. <laughs> That's blood to the first block king, Yankos sinks in the fangs, Mickey was there, Vincent and repeat. They're looking for a fight on towards the top lane, his Cabochard may be caught out, he's going to use the saving charge to get away. Yankos still on the chase, not going to do too much as they just push out the wave. Caps. Got ignited here. It's a lot of damage coming down. Cop! Dawning Shadow was flashed away there by Caps. Meanwhile, in the top lane. Call of the Forge God on Wonder, but do they know that Yankos has stayed around? Wonder ignited. Skeen's coming in. Wonder's down. Yankos trying to get something out of this, but this might be two quick kills to Vitality. Smite from Skeen's. Going for the dive underneath the tower. Great repel by Yankos, and Cabo will not tank it any longer. Shot doesn't have the flash. Taking another look at what happened there. Let's see how long she cc for. So she's up in the air. Stunned. Uh, he just held on to it for a long time. He did have an opportunity to flash away, but got outplayed. Maybe thinking that Yankos could react, and if you flash, maybe they back away, so... So, um, I also want to point out what Wonder has done here in the picture-in-picture. Picture. So trying to get that wave underneath the tower as often as possible. Mickey, once again with the roam here. Saken and Jack Troll are having a little buddy-buddy system, but the flame comes out. Saken gets the double knock up. Oh. Dodges the hook. I'm going to say dodges. Mickey missed it, but we'll give him that one. Then they're going to jump in onto perks, but Saken, that was way too greedy, way too much. Another kill. mountain dragon. Should be pretty easy to secure for them. Jack Troll's going to get hooked. The lantern's there. And there's the flay. Jackdaw flashes away, but Yankos, the cocoon connects. Right at the tip of it, you have to feel. Caps now joins the action. He gets his first kill of the game. Did Mickey make Looking for something. Comp gets the glacial augment slow. G2 have been able to keep the tower alive. Oh, Graviton's going to get the root, and here comes the engage. Jackdaw puts up the unbreakable and some damage comes down. There's a dawning shadow. Yankos almost dead. Piercing darkness will just about keep Jackdaw alive. Perks up towards the top side. He's just 1v1ing Saken. Forsaken by his team, forsaken by dive. nature. They can top side is just one beat wanting Saken. Forsaken by his team, forsaken by dive. nature. They can dive. Mickey flashes forward. Skeens with the stopwatch almost gets the play, but Perks is just diving it. The wish comes out, and that's more than enough. That's one more. Perks got the double. Skeens gets a teleport from his teammates trying to defend. Cabochard's gonna call to the Forge God. Lands on Caps. Looking for the stuff at Caps. Gets the lantern away. Saken flashes forward. Yakos still alive, and another goes down. Now it's all Skeens underneath the tower. Mickey tags it up, and Perks flashes for his second double of the fight. And I think top side of the map. You know, have another look at that because it drew on for a long time. Really cool setup from Caps to use the ultimate to, uh, what, get the purple locked yep. down. And then it looks like for a second that Jack Troll's going to go down. He does manage to bounce back to safety, but the difference between Saken and Perks, two levels, I believe it was, right there. Just finds the 1v1. Good stopwatch from Skeens to dodge out from the uh, Death Stance, but there's the wish from Soraka, giving G2 the all-go-ahead to look for the dive. Really nice outplay from Caps. And we like to play Twister with him. So again, green for range, red for lifesteal, uh, <laughs> purple for CC, blue for AoE, and white for dueling. And Pux is, uh, he's got the white gun out right now. <laughs> Minions! He did it. Riftel's gonna charge in again. G2 trying to crack through the inhibitor line. Here comes the Call of the Forge. Got perks already used to dash away. Has to flash. Here comes Jack Troll. Gets the double knockoff. Vitality maybe find that fight. But there's another great hook from Mickey. 
and G2 just turn it right on its head. There's the roof. It's all three. Mickey hooks the minion. I still haven't forgiven him. They've opened up a farm lane up into the top. That's true. Super, Super Minions are going to push that wave in all the time for yeah. the XP. And so, technically, Sagan could just hard farm that and try to get back. Take another look at this one. Wonder flashes. Doesn't get hit by uh, Call of the Forge God. It also flashes out of Cabo Shard CC. That's very nice. There's the first, hit from, um, first hook from Mickey. Caps setting up a great ultimate. And the second! Yes, that minion right there. That minion is a hero. That makes sense. I've been watching uh, Dracula on Netflix recently. All perks. Steps very far forward. Mickey. Mickey's got the hook. Saken, this is your Saken moment. Saken has the flank. They go into perks. Dawn Shadow coming out as well. Maybe Saken's going to be able to kill, but perks just heals up through all of it. Mickey gets one. Skeens jumps in. Yankos gets knocked back, but he goes golden underneath the tower and the redemption and the heals and everything is just what? far too much. Vitality can do nothing about it. And G2 are back to full health. This is unfair. Yes, Soraka is very unfair. Look at that, he just... Caps goes from 1 HP to all of his HP in like half a second. It's the Jugger Perks call. As a medic, I think I should be happy about this, but I don't enjoy watching it. I don't know, it's super fun. Look at how confident Perks is to step forward. Uh, that's true. It's like the old, yeah, the Juggermore comps of old, as you say. Camera shot hooked up, pops the exhaust. That's not going to do too much for you. G2, 22 and a half minutes, and they've already taken down the Nexus Tower. The second will be short to follow after. They have got that blood for the blood god that you were talking about. Perks still on the front line. The hook from Mickey misses once again. Perks dodges to the side. Yankos dodges forward. Perks doesn't even need to at heals. He's got the Blade of the Ruin King to heal himself up. And now the minions will do the work. Cats with the Gravitum. Cop with the hook. Yankos with the kill. And this was, this was destructive, this was devastating, this was G2 at their finest as they take down Vitality. And a man of his word. It wasn't Sona, but we did get the Soraka top. Thank you, Wonder. Yes, but I think it's, it's less surprising than the last time he played Soraka top and won. I believe he is the only player in the LEC with a winning record on Soraka top. He also has the most experience on it. Two whole games. Two whole games. The dark technology needed to take them perhaps to more than a 0-3 in the world finals. Of course, commiserations to Vitality was not an easy game to play, but whenever you play against G2, I think you have to count it as a learning experience. Yeah, it's the measuring stick. You yeah. know, you're just going to see how tall you stand on that day. And uh, while we did talk a lot about the Soraka top, as Wonder and Cabo share nice little friendly greeting there, um, perks was really the quiet yeah. standout that game. 50 CS lead, unkillable. I think he finished the game like 7-0 and 2. Hard flexing on people. Back in the mid lane. Yo, key player of the game.